Hi, I'm Brad Dexter. I'm an exercise physiologist in cardiac rehabilitation. I'm here to talk to you today about exercise. Exercise is an incredibly effective therapy, just like medicine. Exercise lowers our blood pressure, reduces our LDL or bad cholesterol, while raising our good or HDL cholesterol. It helps us maintain a healthy body weight, improves our insulin sensitivity, and helps us manage stress while decreasing our anxiety. It also increases our overall energy level. When you exercise, you increase the energy demand on your metabolism. For example, when you transition from rest to walking, or from walking on level ground to walking up a hill or stairs, your body must make more energy. Your body responds by increasing your heart rate, your respiratory rate, and changing your blood pressure. You burn more calories from the foods you've eaten or the energy you've stored to make this energy. Fitness is the cumulative effect of regular exercise. Over time, consistent exercise causes these small improvements to add up. This process is called training. Training increases the efficiency of your cardiovascular system and allows you to further increase your metabolism and make more energy. When you exercise, the activity you pick should be continuous. It should cause a change in your heart rate and your respiratory rate. However, it's important to start and end exercise slowly. Spend the first five to 10 minutes warming up, gradually increasing your exercise intensity as you go. It's also equally important that you spend the last five to 10 minutes cooling down and preparing your body to go from exercise back to rest. Target a moderate to somewhat strong exercise intensity. You should feel like you're doing work beyond your normal daily activities. It should make a change in the way your body feels but keep in mind that you don't necessarily have to sweat bullets to improve your health. It's important while you're exercising that you always be able to carry a conversation. This will ensure that you're not overexerting yourself. It's also important to work on increasing the duration of exercise before increasing the intensity. Patients often wonder, what is the best kind of exercise? The simple answer is the kind of exercise that you will actually do consistently. It should be something that you enjoy and it may include a variety of activities on different days. Patients also wonder, how much exercise do I need? The American Heart Association recommends at least 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week. This breaks down to 30 minutes of five days a week. Currently, less than one in three adult Americans get this recommended amount of activity. 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week is enough to reduce risk factors for chronic illness such as heart disease and diabetes. However, 150 minutes is just the minimum. It's important that you start appropriately for where you are in your recovery. This may be as little as five to 10 minutes of activity. Don't get discouraged if you're not meeting the 150 minute goal quite yet. Slow and steady wins the race of recovery. Continue to challenge yourself and make positive progress. Work toward the goal of 150 minutes or more of exercise per week. It may help to keep a log of your exercise to stay on track. Is exercise safe for heart patients? Nearly 90% of all heart attacks occur at rest. Inactivity is actually more dangerous than moderate exercise. You can do important things to keep yourself safe while exercising. Most importantly, listen to your body. Don't overexert yourself and avoid activities that cause excessive fatigue after exercise. If you have symptoms such as chest pain or dizziness while exercising, stop, rest, and let the symptoms resolve. Lower your exercise intensity to a level that does not cause these symptoms. It's also vitally important to stay hydrated while we're exercising, especially outside in warm weather. Even if you're not dripping sweat, you're still losing water to the environment. It's important to replenish these resources. Be as consistent with your exercise as you are with taking your medications. Exercise is essential to treating heart disease. It's important to stay consistent and add it into your daily schedule. It may be helpful to build exercise into your lifestyle. Walk or bike instead of driving when possible. You can also break down your exercise into smaller chunks of time, such as two 15-minute exercise sessions instead of 30. It's crucial that we make exercise enjoyable. You should strive to pick types of exercise that you actually enjoy. Also, have indoor and outdoor options. Don't let the Northwest weather get in the way of your good health. It may be helpful to exercise with someone else, such as your spouse, friends, or family. You can also listen to music while exercising to help keep yourself motivated. Set goals and challenge yourself to continue to improve. In conclusion, it's important that patients recognize that exercise is a vitally important part of the treatment of heart disease. Moderate intensity exercise is safe and appropriate for patients with heart disease and that the target goal 
for exercise is more than 150 minutes of moderate activity per week. Hopefully this talk has answered some of your questions about exercise and improved your understanding of how exercise can be used as a very effective treatment for heart disease.